Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, in this lecture, we are going to talk about the hydraulic jump in horizontal rectangular channel where we will derive the relation between the initial depth and the sequent depth. Here, in this is the figure where the hydraulic jump is occurred. This is the y1 from where the hydraulic jump occur in this way at the depth y2 and this is the depth after hydraulic jump occurrence. This is the bed channel of the rectangular channel and this is y1 where hydraulic jump occurs starts and this is the y2 depth after hydraulic jump occur. So now let us consider two sections that is 1 1 and 2 2 that is before the jump and after the jump. Now on applying linear momentum equation in the direction of flow that is this is the direction of flow now on applying linear momentum equation in the direction of flow that is from this direction that is p1 minus p2 plus w sin theta minus f f equals v2 minus v1 here we are considering a very short prismatic channel so for the This theta equals 0 and frictional force F F equals 0. So this equation 1 becomes P1 minus P2 equals P1. Or this equation can also be written as half of gamma wave. Where Or where Q equals Q is divided by B equals Q when when b equals 1 or y1 square minus y2 square equals rho q by this 2 goes to this times of v2 v1 where equals g this and this is neglected or y1 square minus y2 square equals twice of q divided by g times of v2 is p1 or y1 square equals twice of v1 y1 is divided by g times of v2 minus v1 where q equals v1 y1 or v2 y2 yes. on simplifying y1 plus y2 times of y1 minus y2 equals twice of 
square y1 is divided by g times of v2 is divided by v1 minus 1 or the y1 plus y2 times of y1 minus y2 equals twice of v1 square y1 is divided by g times of 1 when q1 by q2 equals equals 1 equals v2 is divided by v1 equals or y1 plus y2 times of y1 minus y2 equals twice of v1 square y1 is divided by z times upon simplifying this y1 minus y2 is divided by y2 or and also be written as y1 plus y2 equals twice of q square is divided by g y2 sorry to v1 square y1 and further y1 plus y2 equals twice of q square is divided by g y1 y2 or on simplifying this this q square by g is equal y1 y2 is divided by 2 times of y1 plus y2 this is the momentum equation for momentum equation hydraulic sum that is momentum equation now again dividing the above equation two by y one cube on both side both sides that is q square is divided to z y one q equals y one y two is divided by twice of y one q times of y1 plus y2 or v1 square y1 square this can be written as and g y1 q equals y2 sorry y2 is divided twice of y1 square as it is deducted twice times of y1 plus y2 Further simplifying this or v1 square is divided by g y1 equals y2 is divided by y1 times of 1 plus y2 by y1. But this can be written twice of fr1 whole square equals y2 is divided by y1 as it is times of 1 plus by 2 by y1 where f r1 square equals v1 square by g y1 uh, on solving this equation y2 is divided by y1 whole square plus y2 is divided by y1 minus twice of f r whole square equals 0 this is the quadrate equation which is in the form of
equation so on solving this y2 is divided by y1 equals minus 1 plus minus whole root 1 plus 8 f r 1 whole square is divided by 2 again y2 equals y1 by 2 times of minus 1 plus root over 1 plus 8 fr1 whole square this is the equation 3 for the y2 depth at y2 depth that is sequent depth And similarly, for y1, y1 equals y2 by 2 times of minus 1 plus whole root 1 plus 8 fr2 whole square. This equation 4 for initial depth. the these two are the two required for the depth Calculation is at the occurrence of hydraulic jump. So for this time we end up the video up to this much. We will come again with one new video. Till then keep on watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe us. Thank you.